Welcome back, Jayhawks fans, to over 50. Yesterday, the Kansas Jayhawks, as you can see on the sh on my screen, they defeated George Mason 76 to 67. But uh, that is not exactly, you know, that could be a deceiving score when you look at it because it looks like, oh, you know, they blew them out in the first half and stuck even in the second half. But if you look at the game flow here, George Mason you know, kept things close. I mean, even when there was, you know, 11.43 left in the second half, here you have them down six. There you have them down seven. And then you get closer to the end of the game, 3.45 left, down five. Uh, Kansas did not play a very good game, or as far as I'm concerned, they did not play a game that – they did not play the kind of game that you want to play going into – conference play going into big 12 play where you have to go on the road at Oklahoma State and keep in mind this team has not faced a home court advantage or disadvantage I should say they've got the home court advantage basically all year except for you know the loss to Dayton and when they you know played in the uh, ESPN invitation tournament so uh, if you look at the game though the the, the stars and the heroes of this game, if you want to look at it that way, I mean, that's what George Mason did, but I'm going to focus more on Kansas. Um, look here at the bench score as far as points goes. Uh, J. Cole had 20. Uh, Joe had Joe had a two, makes 22. Uh, 22 plus 14 is 36. 38 bench points. The starters accumulated 20, 20, 25, 26, 30, um, 25, 29, 30. Uh, they accumulated 38. So you had balanced scoring, even scoring, you know, the bench and the starters, but usually your bench team is not going to score more than your, your starters. Usually your starters should – uh, handle things and uh, just look right here David McCormick only made only made it on the court for 10 minutes with one point it's like but 22 minutes 14 points and, uh, you know I think that's pretty big it was nice to see Jalen Coleman lands or J. Cole as they call him hitting some uh some threes like he did when he was at Iowa State because I've been kind of waiting for that because that's kind of the reason why you wanted to bring him in because He's their best shooter, and Bill Self said that in the in the presser. Um, but before I get to his comments, uh, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Drop a comment down below. Share this video out there. And let me get into some of Bill Self's presser comments because there is one that could be a huge deal, and I got to watch how I address it here. So uh, I'm going to go with the word "coof," but. The question was asked, why was Bobby Pettiford, you know, not out there on the, the floor, you know, or not on the floor, but, you know, out there with the team on the bench as he has been. And that's because Bobby Pettiford was not allowed to be out there on the floor. I, you can, you know, take that, you know, for what it's worth. But uh, I hope that this is not something that's going to cause the rest of the team to have an issue. Uh, one player with the coup, and that can lead to another. You saw what happened with the Kansas City Chiefs and a whole bunch of NFL teams, NBA teams. The Bulls had an issue with it. So hopefully this won't lead to more uh, players having to deal with this issue. Self said that he tested positive, but nobody else had been around him when they did the contact, con uh, contact tracing. Um, so, you know, and they went ahead and they uh, they tested some other players that they thought might have been a concern, and they all tested negative. And um, he mentioned that three to five days in contact, then you must be contact tested. And that was not the case. You know? So there were no players around him. So hopefully this is an isolated incident, but it does, it does, it, it, it is kind of concerning as you move into conference play. Like, let's say you lose Abaji and CB, you lose Ochai and CB, 
with something like this. I mean, granted, in this game, they only had 14, 25 points between them, but that's, you know, 25 points. That's almost a third of the points scored. They scored almost a third of the points that Kansas scored. So you can't really have that kind of an issue going into um, conference play. So that would not be good. So that's something, you know, we got to keep an eye on. Hopefully, Bill Self uh, manages, that, manages that situation correctly. Uh, he basically went on to say that the bench won the game, and I totally agree with that. I've already pointed that out. If you look at the, the points here, that the bench scored. J. Cole and Mitch were big. Again, the points line shows that. I mean, J. Cole, 25 minutes, 20 points, 7 of 9 from the floor, 5 of 7 three-point range. He only made one of two, one of his two free throws, so, you know, there's always improvement there, but Without J. Cole, they don't win this game. Uh, Juan and CB and Och, or Ochai, as he calls it, uh, they just look tired. And he thinks that they kind of need a rest. So hopefully they can get their batteries recharged before their, their battle on the fourth at Oklahoma State and Gallagher Ivor Arena. Uh, he said, Juan is definitely better than Remy. And, you know, if you look at Dewan Harris, I mean, he only had four points after coming up that 14 point game previously. Um, yes, I just totally forgot who they played. Uh, it'll come to me in a minute. But, uh, you know, the game that they previously had where he had 14 points, uh, Nevada, that was it. He put 14 on in Nevada. Remy was in that game. He said Remy pulled himself because he just said the knee didn't feel right. And afterwards, it stiffened and swelled up. But all the tests, x-rays, and everything was negative. So Bill Self is hoping that they'll be back for Oklahoma State. And when he was asked, does he think this team is ready for Oklahoma State in conference play? He said, after the, after the Nevada game, yes. After this game, no. I totally agree with him. I mean, you got to have a, you got to have better better performance than what the Jayhawks showed. Um, you know, David McCormick, he has he has to be a bigger factor than this. I mean, he can't, you know, he can't not. Not play. And you can't say he was in foul trouble because he didn't he didn't get a, he didn't register a single foul. So, I mean, I guess that's good in that respect. But um, Kansas only nine turnovers for the game. I told you a couple of videos ago. I see Kansas. They want to win games. You know, I'd like to see that turnover total. You know, if it approaches double digits, it stops at ten. And they only had nine turnovers. That was good. They forced fourteen turnovers. Um, but. The goal percentage was, was pretty much pretty close. We shot 44%. You can see that down here. And you can see we were 32% from three-point range. And George Mason was almost 44% and 40% from three-point range. George Mason was just – the threes were dropping there for a while, and they just kind of went cold. But uh, the Jayhawks get a win, and that's always good to see. That pushes the Jayhawks. Big bug pushes them up to 11 and 1, obviously 7 and 0 at home. Next game on the road, Big 12 play opens up Oklahoma State. Again, please, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, button hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like the video. Comment down below. Share this video with your friends out there. And until next time, Jayhawks fans, uh, I hope you're having a happy new year. I hope your holiday was safe and take care.